hey everyone in this video what we are going to see is merge types if you are new to my channel hit subscribe your subscription will motivate me to produce more video in better quality before we start let me go through this microsoft documentation and so if you are finding difficult to understand no problem i'll be explaining with an example uh, later in this video first let's go through this documentation there are four type of merge here so first of all this what is this merge type so whenever you are merging the changes from one branch to the another the changes will be preserved but how the history graph should appear that is where these four type will differ okay history graph means in the history uh, of your branch you will get to see what are the commits you have made and what are the changes it have been done so everything it will show it's just a graph so how the graph should appear that is what differs but your changes will be preserved in all four types no need to worry so first is merge the first step is merge no fast forward so this is the default uh, strategy and so if you see here this is main branch what are you see a uh, gray do one right so this is main branch and these are commits in main branch you see one commit here and you see one more commit here and whatever if you see here a new branch called future branch it got created and two commits have been made and finally it got merged to master so with this graph this is what i'm able to uh, come up right so in this way the history whatever you have made what are the commit message you have given and what are the commits let's say for example if you have made 10 commits 10 commits you could see here and you will see what are the commits message they have provided so all it will be preserved in the history of graph so next is squash commit in squash commit what it does is whatever the changes you have made in the future branch it will appear as a single commit in the main branch so it will just ignore whatever the commit message you have provided let's say for example you have made 10 commits no it won't appear all the 10 commits it won't be there it will just appear as a single commits with all the changes all the changes will be there but it will appear as a single commit like this so this is what squash commit next is rebase so in rebase what it does is so but whenever you try to merge it what it does is it will just pick up whatever the commits you have made in the future branch and it will just append on top of the main branch so it will just if you see here whatever the in the history of graph you won't see the changes you have made in the future branch as a separate one instead what it does is it will just append on top of the main branch so whenever you just merge it all the changes from the future branch will add on top of the main branch and it will appear as a single line it is completely linear so squash commit and rebase both are linear so it will appear as a single line and what is the difference between type 1 meaning like merge and then rebases if you see here in merge type 1 you will see everything as a separate meaning like the future branch commits appear as a separate in the graph and you will see everything but here what it does is the commits will append on top of the main branch and it will appear as a single line in the graph that's it next is semi linear so it's kind of mixer of uh, type 1 and then uh, type 3 so what here it does is it will be appended on top of the main branch but the history of future branch will appear as a separate line in the graph so that's it so this is what semi linear merge so even if you didn't get at this point i will explain with an example no worries now let's get back to the example so i have created a separate repository to explain this and i have created two text files and i'm going to make all these changes in the browser itself but in real time you will be making the changes from visual studio or eclipse so whatever the development environment you are using from there only you will be doing it but to make it simple i'm just doing it from the browser so first if you see the history of uh, main branch you will see three commits over here now let's create a new branch and this is the feature branch and i'm going to name it as type 1 now i'm currently in my feature branch and let me go to contents let me make some changes in this file and let me commit it i'm going to provide commit messages one and let me make one more commit so now in the history of uh, future branch you you will get to see two commits have been added now let me switch back to main branch so assume like a scenario like one more developer had created one more feature branch and he had made some changes in the main branch so for this scenario what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit the another file information 
uh, I'm not going to make changes in this file because it will create some merge conflict. Merge conflict I will cover in a separate video. For this video, uh, I'm going to make the changes in this file itself. So let me make some changes. Commit it. So now let's create a pull request in order to move the changes from the future branch into the main branch. So in order to do it, click on pull request and click on new pull request. So from where you need to move? I need to move my changes from my future branch, which is type one to main branch. So let me uh, provide a title to the pull request. Type one merge. So, and if you click on the files, you will get to see what are the commits you have, what are the changes you have made and what are the commit message you have provided. Now let's get back here and click on create. There is no merge conflict. Now, if you click on complete, you will get to see what are the four types we have discussed. So first we are going with merge nonlinear. So let me select this and here you will get to see the image which we saw in the documentation. And here I am selecting to delete the branch after merge, which is no longer required, right? So let me complete merge. And now let's switch back here. So now here you can't see the future branch because we have selected the option to delete the future branch after merge and in the history of main branch you will get to see. So here, so this line represents what are the changes you have made in the main branch. So I, in the main branch I just made one commit and we have uh, and this line represents the future branch and you will get to see what are the commits you have made and what are the commit message you have provided. So the complete history is preserved in this type and you will get to see both of the branch changes over here. So this is what type one V means and everything got merged here as a single commit. So now let's get back to contents. Now let's see about type two, which is squash commit. I'm going to uh, fast forward the content because we are going to do the same thing. Now let's get back to main branch and make sim similar changes in the another file. Okay, we have made two commits in the future branch and one commit in the main branch. Let's re raise a pull request. And this time let's select squash commit, linear history with a single commit on the target. Target means the main branch. So let me select this and this time also I'm deleting the branch. Let me complete. Now let's switch back to main branch and in the history if you see for the second type you couldn't see the commit message 3 and 4 right right. You couldn't see the commit message 3 and 4. So from here you have created a branch and you could see the changes you have made in main branch, but what are the commits, commit message you have provided in the future branch is not appearing here, but instead it appear as a single commit over here. So if you just click on it, you will get to see what are the changes. Changes are preserved, but the historic message, what are you have provided, right? That is not appearing in the graph. That's it. So when this uh, type will be useful. So let's say for example, you have made 50 commits or your junior, uh, junior developer had made 50 commits and if you try to push all the history over here, how it will look like it will, it won't look good, right? It will be difficult to uh, backtrace the changes, right? It will, history won't even look good. So in this kind of scenario, the changes from the future branch will appear as a single commit in the main branch. So this is what squash commit. Now let's go to type three, which is rebase. I'm going to create a new branch for it and I'm going to make some changes. Now let's raise a pull request. And this time let me select rebase and fast forward. Let me complete the merge. 
and let me switch to main branch and let's see the history and this time if you see so this is the last type merge right from here it starts so and if you see here whatever the changes you have made in the main branch that will appear first and on top of it whatever the changes you have made in the future branch will it will be added and everything will appear as a linear which means in a single line and all the commit history like what are the commit IDs and commit message you have provided in the future bands that is completely preserved here. Now let's go for the last type which is semi-linear merge. So let me create a new branch for it and I'm going to make some changes. And in the main branch in the information file let me make some changes now let's go to pull request and let me click on complete and this time I'm going to select semi linear merge and let me complete it and if you go to history so if you have watched it till here and if you find this video helpful just comment helpful and let me go to history and if you see here so here if you see I uh, missed it to provide commit message as 8 for this specific commit that's fine so these are the commits you uh, commit message you have provided in the future branch that is preserved and it got appended on top of the main branch so what is the type do what is the difference between type 1 and type 4 let's see now in type 1 if you see the commits which you have made in the main branch and commits you have made in the future branch are appearing parallel right meaning like so these are appearing parallel but here what it does is on top of the main branch changes meaning like this is the commit which you have made uh, ma in the main branch right on top of that the commits of future branch have been added in the graph and it is showing something like this and and whereas type 2 and type 3 are uh, appearing as linear in a straight line and a squash commit it won't preserve the history whatever you have made whereas rebase also appearing as a straight line but it is preserving the history and that's it on this video i have planned to explain a lot of concepts in upcoming videos so stay subscribed and wait for my next video bye bye